All right, look, it's been enough time. I'm finally ready to unleash the power that is the new Shiftry, baby. We've got access to Wind Rider in the DLC, and this thing is actually insane now, I'm not gonna lie. I tossed it on a super powerful rain team to see if I can get some offense shenanigans going. Hey, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it only takes you a second, and I'm on my way to 300k, and the support is greatly appreciated. So looking at our matchup today, my opponent has a pretty interesting team. I'm noticing double regenerator core defensively with the Amoongus and the Aloma Mola, so that is going to be annoying, but overall, the forecast calls for some rain and a little bit of wind. So let's see if my offense can uh, overcome it, and let's get into the match. All right, so they're going to lead off with the Grafii as I decide to toss out the Bubblegum. The goat is back as well. I love Politoed so much. Great is shiny color, and he makes it rain on these hoes. So... When you see a Grafii lead, I'm just expecting this thing to go for the parting shot as a little pivot, so I'm just going to go for the Weather Ball. It's going to do some decent damage into whatever, as they do go for that parting shot. So this thing just flips me off, and then dips the hell out, and Politoed does not take too kindly to the disrespect. He makes fun of both me and the singular little hair on top of my head, and they're going to bring in the Amoongus. So, this thing is extremely annoying to my team. Most of all, I can basically expect it to go for a Spore, but they know I have a Grass type in the Shiftry. So, my plan is, rather than shifti shifting into the Shiftry, I'm actually just going to stay in and go for a Perish Song. What that's going to do is basically put the Amoongus on a timer, and I can try to get a little bit of a setup action going with that. So, I was worried about him expecting the Shiftry to come in and going for a Sludge Bomb, but instead they do just go for that Spore. But honestly, I'm kind of fine with this. Uh, Politoed being asleep is mostly fine. I, I, can, I can basically just switch this thing in later, and I can set up the rain in my sleep because... Bubblegum doesn't give a shit. So, I'm going to end up switching out here, and I'm going to go into the Overquill. I'm thinking, hey, I'm in the rain, it's a sunny day, and it's a good time to bring out a Sharp Ballin. And uh, I know that Amoongus can't really touch me, and I can basically freely set up, as it's going to be forced to switch eventually. So, uh, they do actually end up switching out here, and they decide to go back and do the Grafii. So, we got a little bit of an interesting interaction here. So, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance, knowing that this thing can't do too much, as they just go for the knockoff. You're going to notice that they actually outspeed me, and that's when I realize... I fucked up kinda. I, I have the wrong ability on my Overquill. It's supposed to be Swift Swim, and instead I, uh, I just have Poison Point. So it's actually not gonna end up mattering in the long run, and you'll see why. So they decide to go for an Encore. Prankster ability is not gonna work on a Dark type. That is something they always forget about, and I basically banked on them making that mistake. Um, you cannot make me go for more Swords Dances because I am Dark, good sir, and a Liquidation is able to finish it off. So. Uh, the main reason why I wasn't too worried about the speed difference is that their answer to the Overquill is going to be the Scizor. Of course, with the priority bullet punch, that's going to go first no matter how fucking fast I am. And it looks like I'm actually able to live too, which is kind of amazing. So, I go for a liquidation here in the rain, going to almost knock this thing out. Um, but I can actually take one more bullet punch here and then finish off the Scizor, which is honestly a huge problem to my team. So... I mean, considering I have nothing for fire damage, that's going to be annoying Pokemon. But Overquill is able to take care of it, and honestly, this is such a fun Pokemon. He'd be spiky and having a good time. So, uh, with Scizor down, they're going to go back into the Amoongus here. I, I'm at plus two, and I outspeed pretty much everything without the Swift Swim. And I decide to go for the Crunch. Essentially, rather than conserving this Pokemon, I want to just get as much chip on the Amoongus as possible. Uh, because this, this thing is extremely, it's quite a threat, I'm going to be honest. But the Crunch does do a buttload of damage, and he decides to Sludge Bomb the air as the rain goes away. So honestly, Overquill kind of did what I needed it to do there. And now it's finally time to bring in the Absolute Goat. Shiftry has always been such a cool Pokemon, but it's honestly been pretty mid. But now, with its access to its Wind Rider ability, we can go for a Tailwind. Not only are we able to fly this boy like a kite and make him fast as hell, but we also get an attack boost with our Wind Rider ability. So, I do go for this Tailwind here, and they are going to switch out the Amoongus into the Aloma Mola. They want to switch out Amoongus, uh, essentially because when it comes in next, it's going to regenerate some more HP. But, uh, I decided to go for the Terra Fighting. Now, the reason for that is because going for a Tailwind here, that opens me up to potentially take a Sludge Bomb, and I don't want to take unnecessary damage on the Shiftry, so I basically just put a fist on my head for no reason, and I go for that Tailwind, which does activate the Wind Rider. And now with this attack boost, it's looking like uh, we're gonna have a pretty solid time uh, against the Aloma Mola. But this thing is defensive as hell. Even with the attack boost, um, the Leaf Blade is not quite able to take care of it, but all they can really do is fire back a Scald in return, and uh, luckily not get the burn, which is honestly amazing. So, Shiftry is actually positioned really well here. 
basically, I'm faster than everything, I have an attack boost, and I have pretty solid coverage on their entire team. So one more Leaf Blade is going to take care of the big fish, who is not an evolution of Love Disc for some whatever stupid ass Game Freak reason. But uh, we're just going to try to make as much use of this uh, of this Tailwind as possible. As they decide to go into Chandelure, this thing is likely going to be Choice Scarf. They're thinking, maybe I'm still faster. You are not, good sir. Knockoff is going to be an easy one-hit KO. And even with the crit, I mean, the crit does not matter. It was probably going to do like 160% anyway. And Shiftry is out here having a time. If you're wondering why I'm actually Terra fighting with the low kick, essentially one of the biggest checks to this thing currently in the metagame is Heatran. So that's basically coverage for Heatran and general steel types, but uh, overall, um, it's kind of unnecessary at this point. But he goes back into the Amoogus here. A knockoff is actually enough uh, to take care of that thing. We do take some Rocky Helmet damage and some Life Orb, but... It's actually just kind of great, even after the Tailwind goes away, still being able to, uh, you know, be a fast shiftery and also killing a defensive wall. So, their final Pokemon is going to be the Haxorus here, and here's where I realize I'm actually not out of the woods yet. Haxorus does have the opportunity to kind of pull out a late game sweep here, and I got to basically do everything I can to not let that happen. So, without any Tailwind up, of course, this thing is going to be faster, and it's quite scary. I have to basically stay in and go for the knockoff here on the off chance he goes for any type of setup here, they are going to actually end up using the Terra, and this is a Terra Steel Axorus, and I'm thinking, okay, how can <laughs> I not lose this game at this point? So, they go for the Scale Shot, not going to go for the setup, uh, but the Scale Shot is actually going to give them a speed boost. But now I'm thinking, potentially what I can do is I can go back into the Politoed, set up the Rain, and then I have, like, Polyrath who can outspeed with Swift Swim. But if, it, if this thing gets too many Scale Shot boosts with that speed, it's still going to be extremely scary. So I figure my best actual answer to this is instead going to be the Gastrodon. Now that is basically just because if I go into Politoed and I'm staying sleeping, this I just give that thing an opportunity to set up and it's not going to be great for me. So I know that I can likely be able to take one attack from this thing and I decide to go for the Yawn. So he's going to go for that scale shot. Of course, this does mean that this thing is carrying the loaded dice item. Guarantees it to hit four, if not five times. He actually grabs a critical hit on one of them and... Hits me five times, but luckily Gastrodon is an absolute legend, is able to live, um, and I can go for essentially the Yawn here to kind of solidify the game. It can essentially, it can take care of Gastrodon here, but it being asleep basically guarantees that Politoed, or Polyrath comes in and close combats this thing. But now I'm realizing, actually with the defense drops, Gastrodon probably should have just gone for an Earthquake, um, but I'm going to go for that now, as their only chance is to go for that Swords Dance and potentially grab an early wake at this point. Uh, knowing they're going to fall asleep next turn, they do go for that Swords Dance. And luckily, an Earthquake from the Gastrodon is able to take care of it. So, literally, whenever there's a Haxorus around, it's it's a scary time. Especially if they still have their Terra and potential set up there. But, luckily, we're able to come out on top here and uh, give the glory to our boy Shiftery. And that is going to be the end of the match. So, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'm having fun kind of coming up with new teams and using a lot of recommendations that you guys have been coming at me with in the comments. And uh, as always, I appreciate all the support. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you can. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.